go. Brothers and sisters, welcome back to DB Grinder and Nash TCG channel. So today we are going we are commentating over the card Mer uh, merchant Hamilton tournament with 10 cases for top 32. This is amazing. This is insane. This is the go. But let, let's pass the word to DB Grinder. How are you feeling today, my brother? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Uh, ready to see the new gameplay with the new cards and stuff. It's going to be interesting. And I'm ready to hop in if you are. Okay. So I'm going to go over Milky Boy. You're going to go over Gibriel. And let's start this amazing replay. The first round of the Card Hamilton tournament. So Milky Boy wants the rock, paper, shoes or shoot. And decides to go first. So we see Ogre, uh, Diameter, uh, Firewall Defensor, this is a new card, basically this card, uh, if it's sent to the graveyard as a link material, you can special summon a Firewall monster from your deck, except itself. And then we got Addition and Parallel Exceed. I mean, there are some, there, there is some spice here, there is definitely some spice, let's see how it evolves though. Uh, from Gibral perspective, we have Bike, Gamma, Nibiru, Banky and Tunneler. Not bad, not bad, not crazy good though. Okay, so Milk Boy starts st uh, straight forward for Firewall Defensor into Linguribo. And then Defensor Chilling 1, Exceed Chilling 2. Special Summon Phantom. If this card is sent to the graveyard as Link Material for a Cyverse Monster, you can add a sign it. Spell Trap from your deck to your end. Then discard one trap. What do you think about that? Um, that's pretty good that you have like another like, I don't know. Like, is Small World just not better than that though? Because I feel like that takes up your normal summon, which is like a little bit awkward mm -hmm. to go mm -hmm. for this play. The Phantom Graveyard effect during end phase though is also kind of underrated. I read that, and I don't know. Putting back a Cyrus is kind of nice. I mean, an extra deck monster, yeah. Mm hmm. Use Exceed on the bot to special summon another Exceed from the deck. Now they are bot to level 4. Go into Alembertion. Alembertion trigger his effect on the summon in order to search for a Matme card to add from his end. And he adds Circular. Ooh, I see. Everything goes... <coughs> ...in circulation. Anyway. He links to bot into Wicked. And then... <laughs> He triggers Phantom. Adds right. Signet Conflict. Pitch Diameter. Okay, so we got a free Diameter in the graveyard. That's actually very good. Send Sigma for cost. Special Summon Diameter. Uh, special Summon Circular. Wicked Effect is gonna trigger in order to banish Linguribo. Let me share my screen so you can see that. Sorry, but yeah, I was just watching off your stream. I mean, it kind of worked. It wasn't it wasn't far behind. Okay, I mean, just just because I don't want you to be. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Use an inversion tribute itself for cost. Summon back a diameter. Uh, trigger circular. Gamma on circular. Very good. Special summon driver from the deck. Uh, do you think this gamma on circular was correct? I I feel like maybe they didn't know how their opponent was going to play this out. So I actually think Milk Boy played this out really, really well. Otherwise, like maybe you could have dropped like a nib earlier and kind of pray. Um, I was thinking about that too when they had like the Link Rebo and like the Parallel and the Firewall guy on board that you just dropped nib. And like except that like except that gamma isn't live this turn. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that gamma feels kinda bad. I mean my only main concern about this gamma is the fact that circular cannot be destroyed because of wicked. Yeah. So it's like you are not trading anymore a body for a body. Mm-hmm. But I think they know that like once they get the trap card, like they kinda lose. Like at this mm -hmm. point, I feel like you kinda have to gamma the circular. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I guess. Splash Mage, Summon Back Diameter. Nibiru on Resolution. Okay. The Nibiru... It's not that fat of a defense, to be honest. Like, I think it's fine. Send the, Linguri, uh, send the Nibiru token to Link into Link Spider because it requires a normal monster, so he already has a game plan through Nibiru. He goes into addition. Yeah, extending through this. Wow. Crystal Arts. Okay. Target a Link. Ooh. Okay. An F monster. Like a Link F monster in the graveyard. Yep. And special summon it. So he can special summon Spider. Yeah, and it's also water. Okay, so that's actually nice. Like, you would expect that a G Golem would be an Earth monster, but it's not. It's a water monster. <laughs> Konami, I love you. Use the effect of... Uh, it's all... And draws! Super Factorial! <laughs> They're so good. That's unfortunate. Yo, <laughs> that's the plot armor right there. That's the plot armor right there. Like, bro, like, why every time we commentate something together, people go on crazy top decks like this? <laughs> that was crazy. Oh my Set God. to and pass. Go for it. Okay. Um. So we have bike here as our like main play. Oh, they're doing something in draw phase. Okay. Probably just heat soul draw. Okay, we're gonna ash that, trying to stop hand traps. But yeah, we don't know about the super factorial. So just go battle fish, try to beat over to turn off the sign of trap. And then, yeah, here's where we get hit with the super factorial. Yeah, there's not a whole lot you can do there. I definitely agree with going battle fish, though, to try to get rid of the counter trap, though. So, on to the next game, we got Bike, Prodigy, Bike, uh, Awakening, Forest, and then we have Soul Piercer. So, this is combo for sure. We actually opened, like, a bunch of combo pieces in this hand and an extender. So, that's good. Um, and then from the opponent's side, we just see, like, Ash Blossom, which shouldn't hurt this hand too much. Pretty low impact. Okay, yeah, they ash the Soul Piercer. I guess that's just like rain that they don't have anything else. But, uh, we do. Alright, search out the Spy off of the, uh, the Link there, or the, uh, Pendulum there. And then Link Effect, discard to summon back out from the graveyard the Soul Piercer. And then go into a cell, and that lets us set up the, the floor early on to really just play through everything. So summon back out bike, go search, grab out the soul peacemaker, and then... Oh, we didn't search off the scale? Oh, did we search off a soul piercer before? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize that that was put the graver when we brought out Prodigy. Okay. Uh, then we can go on the floor, and this is just combo here. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead, equip, tribute, go bring out, and then effect of scales to bring out from the graveyard. Now. Someone is saying that Gibral cannot search a spy. Let me read the soul piercer. Oh, one second. No, this one, I guess. Banking, you can add a similar soul. Oh, yeah, Super Eevee Samurai Soul. You can only add the Super Eevee Samurai Soul with Banky. I guess, I mean, you can do the reverse. Like, you can search mm -hmm. Spy with uh, uh, Soul Piercer, and then you can search Pacemaker with Banky. So I, I, I don't think it's going to like, really matter. Yeah, the cards are still new. People are going to make a lot of mistakes with them. Um, at least we're catching that stuff now, so it doesn't happen later on in the tourney. Okay, so use scales, rebond, soul pieces, a kill soul piercer, and then we see. I guess it's a link summon into ballista. Yeah, we're gonna get so many searches here. Holy.
Let me grab a gearbox. Okay, that's gonna get ton of loot. Getting two draws on top of all this is so strong too. Go for the Cleefor Genius. That's to search the Therion King. I'll just pen for it. Feels so cool to like watch people like pendulum summon their whole hand again. And then yeah, just go for the Gotham's rip. Put two attack, let's search out the Gaia. Summon Therion King, just another negate, and it's gonna give us another search too. Looks like the opponent only opened one Ash Blossom against this. Because you're just not stopping all this, ever with that. I don't even think two interrupts would have been enough, to be honest with you. Yeah, they would need some pretty high impact cards. Or like Droll and Lockbird. Droll would be pretty good. I like the, the Fleur pop your own uh, Soul Piercer there to get a search. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got him drip again. Put back Droll. That's an end loop for five. That's an yeah. end loop for five. That was crazy. But let's move on on the third game of this amazing match. Okay, so game one, Milk Boy FTKs by top top decking crazy. Game two, Gibral FTKs by drawing crazy. And now we see a game three. Um, Milky Boy opened the mining ogre. Addition, Ash, and Defender, which is actually like th th this end is actually very fucking good. Like, he has two end traps and three, three engine cards. Like, that, that's usually the dream end <laughs> for every deck. And Gibriel opened no engine, but three end traps and two copies of Kurikara as a board breaker. That is hella nice. Let's see. Defender, normal summon. Goes into Linguribo. Activate Defensor. Ash on the Defensor. Nice. He goes Sinet Mining. Pitch Ash. So he can keep the Extender and he keeps the Ogre because he knows that Ogre is better against uh, uh, Super Evi Samurai. Adds Circular. Special Summon Circular by sending Diameter in the Graveyard. Okay. He's gonna, gonna moon with the yeah. Okay, yeah. I guess just playing around like an extender there from hand. Mm -hmm. Ambition is putting in work here. Exceeds bot into Allen Bershon. Allen Bershon effect. What? Yeah, it's like, if they had a Math Mech Extender from hand, though, they're just getting to the trap card anyways. Yeah, that is actually nothing you can do, right? Yeah. And also, it was for someone, and this is the fifth summon, so it's not like you can do anything here. Yeah, yeah. That was sad. Maybe should have ulted the Ash, what do you think? Maybe it was better to hold the Ash? Um... Against like the firewall play, I guess you can like hold it and try to like hit sign at mining since they would have pitched a few cards at that point, which could be pretty good for like the value with Ash. And you still have like Moonlit Nib. I mean, um... The only issue I, I would say he Ash it because he doesn't want his opponent to go into uh, the, um, the what's the name it's all because that's mm -hmm. a free plus two and you have non engine in your end. So I think I think that was fine as an Ash. And then he Nibiru's the entire board. That was a pretty solid top deck. Well, that was good as fuck. Work. Yeah, so just activating that. Um pretty much just paging the Do you agree on this? Like you don't wanna I mean, I guess it's fine to keep the Ogre, just in case. I, I mean, I guess it's fine. I think I think it's fair. I think it's fair. Yeah. And you're putting your opponent down on one card and you have, like, a negate with Ogre. Yeah, I, I actually think it's fair. Like, he never expected that. 
-hmm. Would you not? You don't. It 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 doesn't want to ogre the divine incarnate. That's. Oh. That was bold. I that was like bold. You, yeah, I feel like you do. That was bold. Like I understand you are on top deck, but you have so many one card combos. I guess I guess it makes sense. Like if it was top decking Sinet mining. Oh, true. Yeah, Sinet mining are like the firewall play. Okay. Yeah. I think I think it's fair to keep Ogre in hand then. Okay, Scales, the Ogre. Yeah, that's cool. I don't, yeah, this doesn't do anything though. No cards here in the disc or anything like that. Even that wouldn't really matter. Special summon Ogre. And we got the Sign and Mining top deck. And from here, that was a crazy top deck. That was actually a crazy top deck. This was so, like this. This was a plot armor against plot armor. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's his game. I just gotta play through ogre, which is like nothing here. And I go circular, search equation, activate equation, special summon diameter with sigma inversion, search diameter, now all inversion is a negation, go diameter, link bot into jammer, link into talker, talker reborn jammer, and then talker uh, to jammer one, clear the entire board and attack twice for game. And that was the goo. And fuck my, fuck me. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna put it back. <laughs> Uh, Vince, the tournament is today, uh, um, because if you see the description of the tournament, okay, one second, let me stop 